Welcome back to another video and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chad Johners and I am your Denver Modern Agent. Today we're going to be looking at the November real estate market update. So let's get into these facts. Let's see what it means for you, what it means for the real estate market, especially as we move into the end of 2021. It's kind of crazy that the year is already closing out, but I'm excited to take a look at these stats and, and let it know what it means for you guys. So let's jump right in. Okay, so let's jump right into this market overview. The first thing I wanna let you know that I didn't touch on last time is that this is a culmination of data from 11 counties. So you're seeing that from Adams, Arapahoe, Boulder, Broomfield, Clear Creek, Denver, Douglas, Elbert, Gilpin, Jefferson, and Park counties. So they take the aggregate of all of that data and that's how they come up with these market statistics. All right, first thing we're gonna talk about is active listings at month end. So at the end of October, we had 3,376 active listings on the market now that's down 14.98 percent to the prior month so we have fewer active listings at the end of october so that means great properties are selling which is awesome or they could be expiring or people are withdrawing because they're just uncertain of where they're going to go to next but year over year we're still down 29.97 percent which is a substantial amount we just do not have the inventory that we saw last year and i mean even in 2020 it also was a little bit crazier too. I mean, those during this is the middle of the pandemic and we still had far more listings than what we're seeing currently. Now the closed homes that we're looking at was 5,169 closed homes, which is down 8.29% for month over month. Now year over year, we're still down 20.76% there for the closed homes. So fewer closed homes as well. So less inventory less closed home i mean when you don't have as many homes on the market you're not going to be closing as many homes either now the average closed price for october was six hundred and twelve thousand seven hundred and nineteen dollars which is actually down 0.96 percent from the previous month of september but we're up year over year 9.53 percent which is still a substantial amount of appreciation that you are seeing in your properties if you want to know what equity you have in your home, reach out, let me know. I'd be happy to run a CMA for you. But the close price for the median home was $535,000, which is up 0.94% from the previous month. And it is up 13% year over year. So again, you are seeing that middle of the road property right in the middle of all the data was $535,000. And your average days in the MLS, drum roll please, is 14 days i know that doesn't seem like a lot but month over month that's a 7.69 percent increase that's that's pretty good i mean we're, we're things are sitting on market a little bit longer now but year over year that is still down 41.67 percent so things are still moving so quick there is just so much demand in this marketplace and there's just not enough supply on the MLS for buyers who you know want options. So it's a very competitive market out there. It is still very much a seller's market. Well, I know that you have been stat whiplash so far. So let's talk a little bit about some other interesting facts and news that I saw in this report that I think is very relevant to you guys. Uh, first thing I wanna to touch on is that in September, 18.7% of closed transactions had to reduce their listing price before selling the property. And those properties on average sat in the MLS for 35 days. So it's still so, so, so important that if you're gonna do this loan, if you're gonna go for sale by owner, you need to understand what is going on in your local market and how to price your property accordingly. If you don't wanna do that, make sure you work with a good realtor who will be able to price it competitively and get a ton of buyers in the door in that very first weekend uh, to ensure that your, your property sells as fast as possible. The average active listings for October is 15,279. And yes, we set another record low this year for October with 3,376 listings. The record high was set in 2006 with a whopping 29,722 listings. So we are still in a supply crunch and it is still very much a seller's market. It is not tough to get that property moved and man, if you're looking for it, now is still an amazing time 
to take advantage of the market. Now, historically, we do usually see a decrease in active listings from September to October, and this month was no exception. We set the second largest decrease at 14.98% decrease uh, from September to October. Now, on average, we see about 5.8% decrease in active listings. We are still seeing that month over month sellers are not comfortable with listing their properties or they're withdrawing it or it's going expired or whatever it might be, right? But we just don't have the supply. That's plain and simple, that's what it is. Imitation Homes, the largest landlord in the US, reported that rents are up 18% year to date, which is just crazy. Now, nationwide, uh, we're seeing an, an increase in rental prices by 15.8% and Denver is up only 16.6% and I only say only because we're starting to see those numbers converge on each other. The national average and Denver's average for rent prices are starting to come together and if you watch my cost of living in Denver video, which is right up here, you will see that I talk a lot about rent prices and how Denver was a little bit out of touch with the national average uh, in that video. Now, the Freddie Mac quoted a 30 year interest rate of 3.13%. So that's good. Mortgage rates are still fairly stable. 3.13 is still a great rate uh, to get into a home. And for their 15 year note, you're looking at a 2.37% interest rate, which is still absolutely phenomenal. And on top of those great interest rates, I mean, sure they are going up a little bit, but uh, the conforming loan limit has now been raised to 650,000, which is great news, especially for a market like Denver, where the average price point is, you know, over $600,000. So you you do want to be able to use a conforming loan to purchase uh, a home and not necessarily go into a jumbo loan. Now, on the topic of national news, everyone's heard about it. Everyone knows. Uh, Zillow has discontinued their home buying division and they've cut 20% of their workforce that was working in there, which honestly, it's sad, but at the end of the day, when you're looking at what they were doing, they just were not paying the right price for homes and they got absolutely burned on it. And I'm gonna be doing another video covering that very, very soon, so be on the lookout for that if you wanna learn more about that uh, scenario and the fact that you're probably not gonna see some of those homes that Zillow bought because they're gonna go to other institutional investors and that is very frustrating, but that's just the reality of it. And that is kind of what we get for selling our home to Zillow. So be on the lookout for that video. It should be a really, really good one. Nationally, we're seeing some older home buyers actually competing with younger home buyers to try to get into smaller homes and easier to maintain, but uh, a lot of a lot of younger buyers or people entering the market that might be all that they can afford. So you're still getting this fierce competition between generations, with uh, some trying to downsize and some trying to purchase for the very first time. And that's why it is still so competitive out there. Uh, but it is not impossible to get under contract. And I will be the first to say that I can help you do that, as I've done it before, and I know that I can do it again. And I'm always here to be a resource for you guys. Uh, and your, your home buying needs. So reach out, let me know if I can help you at all. Happy to do so. Big win for us millennials. We accounted for the largest portion of homeowners in this last year during the pandemic. And we were 37% of those home buyers, which is phenomenal. So that means we are understanding and seeing the value of purchasing a home and, and building long-term equity in that property. And I think that is the safest way to hedge against inflation, which is going to be a very hot topic coming into the end of the year and into early 2022. Well, a little bit of my opinion and thoughts on the market. I personally don't think that we're seeing this seller's market change anytime soon. I think it's probably going to remain like this throughout the winter months. It's gonna be very competitive. Um, for a lot of buyers who are still wanting to stay in the market and still hunt for something. But a lot of buyers have kind of been priced out or they've been burnt out or demoralized and they just went back to renting for another year. You know, hey, maybe we'll try this again next year. I don't think that's the best idea. I think you still need to keep looking. You still need to keep trying. Even though, yes, it is frustrating, you will get into a home. I can guarantee it. As long as you keep trying, it will definitely happen. But if you need help with anything related to real estate, 
please do not hesitate to reach out and let me know. Again, I do enjoy making these videos for you guys. And if you enjoy the content that you're seeing, it means so much if you just hit that like button and, and let me know that the, the content is appreciated. If you guys are looking for any new builds or if you're looking for any homes in general, don't hesitate to reach out. But in the meantime, if you wanna watch some walkthroughs, check out these videos right here.